Peter, John, Thomas, where is he? Come quickly, they throng him again. Jesus walked in the temple. The people came round about him, asking him questions. How long dost thou make us to doubt? How long dost thou make us to wait on thy word? If thou be the Christ, wilt thou tell us that we might believe? Tell us so plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believed not, because ye are not of my sheep. Thy sheep have awaited thy word, and they must be wary of menacing wolves. If thou be the Christ, speak it frankly. Jesus answered, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them and I lay down my life for my sheep. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Thou blasphemest! People, take up your stones! Hear how he blasphemeth! Take up your stones! Take up have I shown you from my Father? For which of those works do ye stone me? For a good work we stone thee not, but for that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified, and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said I am the Son of God? If I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. They've seen his face. But if I do, believe the works. 
They've seen his wonder. That ye may know and believe. They've seen his touch restore the sick, but still they're waiting, for they don't see him, don't truly see him. But I have seen and I believe that this is he. words, they've heard his teachings, they've heard a voice from heaven speak, but still they're waiting, for they don't hear him, don't truly hear him, but I have heard and I believe that this is he. He fed five Once their mouths were filled, they cared not what he said. They bring their sick, and do we blame them? They beg them they seek healed, some truth and to still to. they pray that their Redeemer be revealed. He has declared, he is Messiah. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are healed. sick named Lazarus of Bethany and his sisters Martha and Mary sent unto the Lord Lord behold he whom thou lovest is sick Lord make haste for our brother master Ill. please for our Lazarus is dying Jesus loved Martha, and her sister, and Lazarus. And when he heard, therefore, that he was sick, he saith to his disciples, Let us go into Judea again. Master, would it be so wise to go back to Judea? 
the people they just sought to stone thee, and wilt thou return? Then said Jesus unto them, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I have not been there, to the intent that ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. If he must go, let us go too, that we may die with him. Now when Jesus came to Bethany, he found that Lazarus had lain in the grave four days already. Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. Lord, if thou hadst been here, if thou wouldst have heard us, my brother then would not have died. No, if thou hadst been here, thou couldst have saved him. I know that thou couldst have healed him. But even now, I know that if thou wilt ask of God, what thou wouldst, God will give it thee. What thou askest, he'll give thee. Jesus saith unto her, Martha, thy brother shall rise again. I know that he shall rise again, Lord. I know he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Yea, Lord, I believe that thou art the Christ which should come, the Son of God. But I do not understand. Touch my eyes and bid them see that my gaze might pierce the veil and behold the wondrous scene that in dreams I've long beheld. Oh, touch my heart and bid it know that every sorrow here is but a moment's tear, and thou wilt make me whole again. Touch my ears and bid them hear 
And Martha went her way and called Mary her sister. Mary, Mary, the master is come, and he calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet. Lord, if thou hadst been here, if thou hadst been with us, my brother then would not have died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the people also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And Jesus wept. Jesus therefore cometh to the grave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. No, Lord, please. Already he has been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, Thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead,
fisherman. Every day was not a question, but a habit, a routine somewhat predictable. Or maybe not the harvest, but the chore, the responsibility was predictable. I was not in question, my lot was not in question. Launch the boat, wait, cast the net, wait, raise them up, wait. Now I stand here with a sword, to do what? Stand and fight, try to save him. How does one protect the Son of God? What am I to do? Please now, what am I to do? They do not know the man. They see not truly who he is. Come to save us, but their fear turns him an enemy. When they see his wonders, who he is, why he's come is undeniable. That is not in question, but oh, it makes him question. He can heal, wait, he forgives, wait, raise the dead. No, and now I stand here with a sword, and then come with the stones, with their nets, all their fate in. How does one protect the Son of God? Tell me, what am I to do? save us but who will save him not a fisherman now when the feast of the Passover was nigh at hand multitudes of the people went out of the country up to Jerusalem and both the chief priests and the Pharisees had given a commandment that if any man knew where he were, he should tell it, that they might take him. And one of the twelve, Judas Iscariot, came unto them. What will you give for a king? What will you pay for the king of the Jews? What will you offer to have him at last in your hand? What is he worth you? The people begin to believe. Take him in public, and they all will rebel. But what if one trusted a friend would be willing to sell? And they covenanted with him for 30 pieces of silver, which was the price fixed by law as that of a slave. On the Sunday before Passover, as Jesus came nigh unto Jerusalem for the feast, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which ye shall find a colt tied. Loose him, and bring him hither. And they brought the colt to Jesus, and they cast their garments upon him, and set Jesus thereon. And a great multitude came out to meet him, and spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. And when he was come nigh, the whole multitude of the disciples began to rejoice and praise God with a loud voice for all the mighty works that they had seen. The promise of ages whom prophets foretold, for whom we have waited their call, have come to redeem us from slavery's yoke.
some of the Pharisees from among the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke thy disciples. And he answered and said unto them, I tell you that if these should hold their peace, the stones would immediately cry out. day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man, and say unto him, The Master saith, My time is at hand. I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Why is this night different from all other nights? Because we once were slaves, and now we are free. And Jesus said unto them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. But behold, verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. Lord, is it I, whatever I betray thee? Having known thy love, could I so cruelly turn away? Could my heart so fail thee and my feeling turn so cold if I should leave thee? Where would I go? Lord, is it I if I then do betray thee? Having seen thy wonders, could my foolish heart be swayed? Is my faith so little that my soul would cease to burn? I should wonder where would I turn? If I am prone to leave thee, if I am wont to doubt, oh, oh wilt thou still receive me, me, bind me fast, find me out, that I may never wander, that I may ever see, oh, oh that, that my hope seek not but thee, that I from me. Help thou my unbelief. Let, Let nothing, nothing overcome me. Be thou with me. I shall relieve. Thou art my only shepherd. Thou art the only way. Oh, may I ever serve thee. For it is I who owe thee my devotion. It is I, yes, I, so safely folded in thy care. Let mountains fall, let mountains rise, let one thing shine. 
Is it I? Jesus said unto him, Thou hast said, That thou doest, do quickly. Judas then went immediately out, and it was night. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and brake it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. And he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Jesus saith unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. Though all men be offended, yet shall I never be. I will lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus saith unto him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? For verily I say unto you, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Thou goest to prison, if thou askest it of me. Oh, I should die with thee, yet will not I deny. Jesus saith unto them, Behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that ye shall be scattered, every man to his own, and shall leave me alone. And yet, I am not alone, because the Father is with me. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. And they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and Jesus saith to his disciples, Sit ye here while I pray. And he taketh with him Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed, and to be very heavy. And saith unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful unto death. Tarry ye here and watch. And he went forward a little, and fell on the ground, and prayed. Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And being in an agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground.
cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter, What? Could ye not watch with me one hour? And again he went away and prayed. And when he returned twice, he found them asleep again. And the third time, he saith unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. It is enough. The hour is come. Behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas came, and with him a great multitude. Whomsoever I kiss, that same as he, take him and lead him away. Lead him away safely. And he goeth straightway to Jesus, and kissed him. Hail, Master. Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayest thou the Son of Man with a kiss? And Peter drew his sword and struck a servant of the high priest. Then said Jesus unto him, Put up thy sword. Thinkest thou that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall give me more than twelve legions of angels? The cup which my Father hath given me, shall I not drink it? Then laid they hands on Jesus and took him. Abandon him to face this all alone, but he won't fight. Is he willing to allow this foul deceit? Still I must follow, I will not run. Why is this night different? Are we this night set free? Are we now slaves no longer? There he come. They have taken our Lord away, and I follow behind. They have taken thy son. And they led Jesus away to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders were assembled. Now all of the council sought witnesses against Jesus to put him to death. And so they came. This fellow here, this blasphemer, I heard him say, yes, I heard it myself, that he claims he is able to tear down the temple of God and build it again in three days. Three days. Yes, I heard it myself. And thou sayest nothing. But Jesus held his peace, because it's the truth. Now Peter had followed Jesus afar off, and sat without in the palace, and a damsel came unto him. I know thy face. And thou wast with Jesus of Galilee. I know. I know. I know not what thou sayest. And the high priest arose and said unto him, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? I abjure thee by the living God. Tell us whether thou be the Christ the Son of God. Jesus saith unto him, Thou hast said, Nevertheless I say unto you, that hereafter shall ye see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. He hath spoken blasphemy! Behold, now ye have heard for yourselves his blasphemy! Then did they spit in his face, and buffeted him, and others smote him with the palms of their hands, saying, Prophesy unto us, thou Christ, who is he that smote thee? And Caiaphas asked of the council, What think ye? 
They answered and said, He is guilty of death. And Peter made his way out into the porch. There, another maid recognized him. This fellow here, this fellow here was with Jesus of Nazareth. I've seen him there also. I swear to you, no. I do not know the man. But surely thou also art surely one of them, one of thy Jesus, Jesus of Galilee. I've seen you there also. Yes, that was with Jesus of Galilee. Jesus of Galilee. That was with Jesus of Galilee. Jesus of Galilee. That was with Jesus of Galilee. I know not the man. And immediately, the cock crew. And Peter remembered the words of Jesus, and he went out and wept bitterly. What have I done? Denied him. What have I done? So now am I no different from the man who take thy bread and turn again. What have I done? What have I done? I hear their filthy tongues, their vicious scorn, the lies they spin with Satan's yarn. I watch them spin and strike thy face, and mock thy name in foul disgrace. And when thou lookest for a friend, thou findest none, for I have fled. Oh God! Cannot watch them take my Lord. I can't endure their cruel hands upon him while his own hands are tied with cord. Those hands with power to raise the dead command the storm now found instead. And I cannot hear them mock his name. I cannot bear their foul breath upon him. I did not look upon his face and see the very Son of God, his brow so bruised and stained with blood. His eyes have shed my sorrow's tears and watch as all hope disappears. I will not watch them crucify my Lord. When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to be tried of Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. 
Ye have brought this man unto me, as one who perverteth the people. And behold, I have examined him before you, and I have found no fault with him, no nothing for which death is worthy. I will therefore chastise him and release him. Take him to be scourged. Now this is enough. Suffer. Please. And what is that to Please. us? Please. See thou And to still that. they cry out for his blood with no compassion. For the feast I must release one prisoner. He bears it all. I have betrayed him. Whom shall I release? There release are. Barabbas. Betray the innocent love. Oh, my Lord, how long till what shall I will do? Is this not enough? Is this not enough? Crucify thee, and by that same power to release thee, and speak as thou must. And Jesus, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called Calvary, where they crucified him between two thieves. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And when Jesus saw his mother by the cross, and John standing by, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then to his disciple, Behold thy mother. Past him reviled him, saying, He saved others, himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. Then, at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? In that bitterest hour, his father had withdrawn the support of his immediate presence, leaving to the Savior of men the glory of complete victory over the forces of sin and death. Then Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, 
exclaimed in a loud voice, It is finished. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Then he bowed his head and voluntarily gave up his life. forsaken left all alone here despair cries boldly claiming this its victory sweeter peace and As it began to dawn toward Sunday morning, and while it was yet dark, came Mary Magdalene early unto the sepulchre where they had lain Jesus. And when she was come unto the garden, she seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre, and knew not what it meant. What have they done? Removed him? What 
have they done? Then she runneth, and cometh to Peter and to John. Come and see, they have taken our Lord away. Where he is I know not, for the sepulchre's empty. they came to the sepulchre, they went in, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. But Mary stood without at the sepulchre, weeping, and as she wept, she stooped down, and looked into the sepulchre, and seeth two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Because they have taken my Lord away. Where he is, I know not. I know not where they have laid him. And when she had thus said, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus, but supposed him to be the gardener. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? Tell me, sir, if it be thou who hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I'll take him. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. Master, he saith unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father, and your Father to my God and your God.
The same day at evening, many of the disciples were gathered together. As they communed together, though the doors were shut, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and saith unto them, Peace be unto you. But they were afraid and supposed they had seen a spirit. And he said unto them, Why are ye troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your hearts? Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Handle me and see. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Thomas was not with the other disciples when Jesus came. Then they therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. We have seen the Lord. You've seen him risen. You've seen his hands and touched his side, and you are certain. But I've not seen him. And I must see him Until I see his wounded side Until my hands have felt his hands I will not know Nor yet believe A week later, on the following Sunday The disciples were again assembled And Thomas with them came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. Them sing 
Words my tongue cannot conceive That my soul might join in praise And in my doubt only believe Oh, touch my heart and bid it know And though I may not see, yet thou wilt make me whole. Not now, but in the coming years. It may not be when we demand. We'll read the meaning of our tears and there some time we'll understand why what we long for most of all includes our open pleading hand why ever silence meets our call somewhere Sometime we'll understand. So trust in God through all the days. Fear not, for He doth hold thy hand. Though dark thy ways, still sing and praise. Sometime, sometime we'll. will fall on bending knees and feel their graven on his hand. Sometime with tearless hands we'll see what here we could not understand. So trust in After these things, there were together, fishing in the Sea of Tiberias, Peter and Thomas and James and John, and three other disciples, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not that it was Jesus. Then he saith unto them, Children, have ye any meat? They answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast therefore, and now they were not able to draw it in because of the multitude of fishes. And with this, John knew him, and saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Peter heard that it was the Lord, he did cast himself into the sea to swim ashore.
And when the disciples had come to land, Jesus saith unto them, Come and dine. And when they had dined, Jesus saith to Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? For thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. And then the third time he saith, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Thou knowest all things, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. <laughs> 